my birthday prayer to God. You gave me life the day I was born, January 24th, 1969. I hope to spend my whole, all my life doing as much as I can show you my love. Oops. And the love and gratitude throughout all these years, God, I have felt your love and care. I hope today you look at me and feel my love. I have become wiser. And now that I was part of, of a miracle done by you, God, bless me and let me live happily and feeling your love and care. Glory to you, my Lord. I praise you for all the miracles that you shown in my life. On my birthday, I pray to you and ask you to forgive me for all my sins. Amen. God, you have granted me health and happiness. Help me to achieve all my goals in life. I dedicate all my wins to you. My Lord, dear God, you have given me all I need, health and a sharp mind, happily friends and family. I thank you, God, for all the years I have asked you, God, to stay close to me and take care of me and never forget about me. Please, God, continue to protect me on all of my life's paths. Please let me be successful in my love to you. Amen. As I celebrate my special day, I pray that the creator of heaven and earth would bless me with all his richest, richest blessings, allow, allowing me to shine as bright as the sun. I pray for a long life and prosperity as I became become older today. That was yesterday. I pray for God's mercy and grace in everything I do. Lord, as I start a new year, send me helpers from above. Let, let me enjoy your love in my life all around. I pray that this year will be, be one of the best years of, of my life and that, and the with life and the, and the ones that following better in Jesus' name, as I grow older, I pray for the imparable wisdom in all that I set my heart to do. As it's my birthday, and I pray I may never stop experiencing the wonders of God in my life. Many happy returns. Running away, many happy returns of the of the day to me. As I clock another year, Lord, I pray for you to guide me, love me, forgive me, and do what no man can do in my life. Give love and mercy as I ask you, my dear God, on my birthday. Forgive, my, forgive me my sins and let me live my life happily. Amen. That's what I wrote. That was my birthday prayer to God and it's such a blessing when you know God for yourself I, I and I do have a gift of writing Lord Jesus through the years I used to write choir songs I have an album that I've written from I was a teenager till I was 21 I written sermonettes I've written I've written so many things I don't even know what God is trying to do with it you know, those opportunities, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to be an artist one day. Maybe I'll, you'll hear my album one day. Maybe you hear my little sermon, sermonettes one day. I don't know. So what I'm doing is just when you stay before the throne of grace. Oh, wait, let me give y'all a joke. So my aunt died last year last year or the year before the year before and I went this is my last one I'm going to say because this will ex you will ex understand why I said what I said earlier 
So I went to Connecticut, Connecticut with my mom, my brother that I follow. And we went to go see my mother's baby sister and she had full stage four cancer. And she was a pastor too. And she was believing God that she would, he would restore her to preach some more. And my aunt was like 78, 78, 79, something like that. And this is the aunt I had. I love hate. But as I got older, I started to love her because she had like eight children, two, two boys and all girls. <laughs> And these were my first cousins. I loved them so dearly. And we still have the love for each other now. So anyway, I went up there. The whole My mom came to pray for her sister and the nieces and nephew. My mother's niece and nephew. The Holy Ghost just took over the room. And, you know, my, on my mother's side and my grandmother, we are a blessed family, anointed family of God. Many of us are called preachers and singers and pastors and musicians all above. And we were just having church in my aunt's bedroom. And my parents, my family has never seen the anointing of God on me. And the Lord had me call my aunt out. And the teaching, when I learned from Elam International Fellowship in Brooklyn, I called my aunt and I laid hands and bind her up in the name of the Lord Jesus and spoke healing into her life. And as the Lord gave it to me, I spoke it and prayed for her. But anyway... The next day, we all left. I spent the night. I stayed until Monday. So my aunt said, let's go out. She wanted, he wanted, she wanted to go to her son-in-law's church. And that church, when I, when we got there, you felt the anointing Holy Ghost power of God. So we went in and sat on one side of the church. It was eight of us that went. She, my aunt was going to die. So she said, let's, let's go to church. And we went to church. So they called a special altar call, the prophetic word, which is all flying in the church. It's just, the, there was a, a, a prophet in the church that was going off and anointing. He was just speaking and just speaking. And so I went and, um, she said, take me down the aisle. So her grandson and I'm her nephew took her down the aisle. Now, I, I didn't go there looking for nothing. I just said, let me just take my aunt down. So I went. She pr He prayed for my aunt, Aunt, Dave, aunt, aunt Tibbs, and he not anointed her and all that. She falling out and talking in tongues and all that stuff. And then she was laid on the floor, knocked out. Um, they prayed for her, my cousin, my second cousin. So now, you know, I'm going to walk my aunt back. To, you know, I ain't thinking about nothing. I'm walking to take her back. She said, he says, brother, man, come in, come in. God has a word for you too. And I was like, really? Mm, here we go. So <laughs> we go, y'all. Here we go. So, um, so I went up there and I stood up with my hands up. My locks was hanging down. And he said, Look, there's a word in the house for you. I said, what the word is? Because I'm not saying everyone's perfect. Uh, they are true prophets, but some of them prophesy also. And I, the Bible said, test the spirit. So I test it. So he prayed for me. And he even laid hands on me. He anointed, I'm always, anyone that knows me from Elam, and they prayed for me. That anointing always had me on floor ministry, talking in tongues, shouting, and all that stuff. Yes. And I fell out. But while I was laying on the floor, someone pulled my lock while I was on the floor. And I said, what kind of nonsense is this? I'm on the floor having floor ministry. And someone pulled my hair. That didn't make no sense to me. I didn't understand that. Anyway, I left it alone. I, I, I stayed in the praise. So I got up. I'm getting up to go back. He says, no, brother, come here, come here. He said, God has a double portion for you. Double portion, okay. And he said, God is going to elevate you quickly. I've been hearing this for years. I'm 53 years old. I've heard this from when I was a child growing up quickly. So quickly to me, we're probably in my later 50s. I'm going to be doing something 
pertain to that. So on that note, he prayed for me and laid hands and the tongues came out and sha na 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 all that, all that came and snotting and crying, all that. Yeah. And so when church was over, he spoke to me, he said to me, you know, God, is, if you stay in this church, he'll elevate you. He says, I said, well, I don't feel that I have to be in nobody's church. It can be, I got filled in my mother's house when I was at Salvation Deliverance and it was, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you. I didn't get filled that way. I went to my mother's house in Jersey. I laid in my old bedroom when I was a kid, you know, a young, a young adult. And I, it, it, it reminded me of the song that Darryl Coley was singing with James Cleveland, Breathe On Me. Go listen to that song, Breathe On Me. While I was laying in the bed, we were on a 21 day fast at church and I went to Jersey. Sorry, guys. I went to the church for the weekend. I went to the Jersey for the weekend. And I went, when I went, I was laying in my bed and I felt the Holy Ghost coming from the, the end of the bed, from my feet up to my spirit, all you know, from my feet all the way up my legs, all the way up to I felt the presence of God on me. And it, and it reminded me of that song, Breathe On Me by that Reverend Daryl Coley and James Cleveland. That's an old song from back in the 70s, 70s, 80s. Breathe on me. Look it up. You'll be blessed with that song. I'm serious. And he breaks down how the Holy Ghost is coming on him while he was laying there. And that was the experience. I got filled that night in my mother's house. And then when I started to go to Elam, that's when I learned how to worship and Shabbat and give God praise. And, 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 you know, Elam is not even Elam like since business of die. Sometimes when a pastor or apostle dies or, or the archbishop of the church dies, some people don't carry the same anointing to keep those saints there. So I was one of those that left. I left and I ain't been back and I will never go back because it's not the same as the anointing when Bishop was there. So I just stay in the word. I read my word. I stay faithful to, to the Lord. But anyway, let me go back because I'm rambling again. <laughs> so after I left that day, I left and came back. I left to come back to New York the Monday. And I started researching double portion. I started looking at um, Noel Jones's preaching because he preached about double portion. I looked in Jackie McCullough, Reverend Bishop, B B Bishop Jackie McCullough now, her preaching on back in the days about the double portion. And I had to search in the Bible what double portion mean. And it's just, a, it's just different levels of anointing on you. That's like five 